Welcome to Go Mustang Sports as we take a look at the week that was in women's field hockey. Now I'm Dave McHugh, joined by the head coach, Laurel Martin. And Coach, 5-1 and one start, best start in program history. Got to be thrilled with that, thanks in part to those two wins against Goucher and Wilson, 3 nothing in both games. Yeah, we're very excited about it. Um, the girls are learning how to win, and they're gaining a, a newfound confidence that's unique to this school with field hockey history. So we're, we're really, really pleased with how we've done so far. Of course, that 5-1 and one record, only one of those games has been at home. We've talked already that we own very few home games. So you got to be thrilled that you're winning a lot of games on the road uh, so far this season. Yeah, no, we're pleased with it. I think that the preparation for the away games, especially, um, you know, an example is Wilson on a different surface than our right. own on grass. So being able to take it on the road um, and still find success is uh, is definitely a step in the right direction. I know these two games, you know, not, not quote-unquote trap games um, because you have certainly a tough week ahead, which we'll talk about, but certainly mm -hmm. uh, it, those games were moments where you could have a lull or, or get off focus a little bit. To win both games 3-0, Thing, to really put your stamp on the games. you got to feel good as a coach that the team is really responding to all challenges. I think we're doing well. We could have done better, and I think the team knows that as well. So um, I think that's the balance is being pleased with the results, and a win is a win, and you take it and you run. But realizing that we could have done better and reaching for that next level is, is certainly something we need to do as well. Talking about that week ahead, you're home against McDaniel right. on Tuesday, on the road against Rowan on Thursday, again on the road uh, on Saturday uh, against St. Mary's. You're traveling the, uh, up into New Jersey yes, and then south yes. into Maryland. A lot we of travel. We love the bus. Love it, the bus. Yeah, I was going to say, this one's not going to be easy <laughs> for you guys. At least one game's at home, so you can kind of get the week started uh, a little bit easier than the other two. Let's start with that McDaniel game at home. This is a team that I, I'm sure you'd like to exact some revenge from last year. Yes. Um, I mean, we lost to them last year by one goal. It was an even fight, um, and they got the edge. And coming into this season, that's a game that we would like to win and I think we have the capacity to win it. Whether or not we step out in the field and do what we need to do to make that happen, we will see. But we're certainly going to come into it strong. It'll be nice to play at home again. Yeah. And, um, and I'd like for us to uh, administer some of the, the things that we couldn't do on grass back in our own home turf field. Of course, then you hit the road against ranked team in Rowan heading up right. into New Jersey for that on Thursday. Just a two-day turnaround mm -hmm. to get that game. What do you have to get the team refocused on, essentially, for that game? Well, that, that will be the next step. I mean, you know, we If we can handle McDaniel, and we should, then we have a day to prepare for Rowan. And then you have to go back into the mindset again. Right next, what's the next step? Yeah. How do we handle them? They're nationally ranked. How do you go in with the newfound um, confidence that we have to give a nationally ranked team a fight so that we can get the name that they have already achieved. And of course, then Saturday, another two-day turnaround. Of right. course, with travel on both ends, it really shrinks the timeline down. You're traveling down to St. Mary's. So really, at that point, you're going to be a worn-out team a little bit from the week that was. How do you keep the team focused on the task and, and not have a lull that may be, you know, unintended? Yeah, the worn out part will strictly be mentally um, yeah. because physically we hammer them worse in practice than they do in the game. <laughs> so I think from a physical standpoint, we should be fresh. Um, but going into St. Mary's after having two games pending the results of that, we have to approach it differently. So uh, like all the coaches say, it's one game at a time. Yeah. And um, certainly we have to handle McDaniel and then we'll go from there. But um, we have a one grass game preparation to head down into St. Mary's. So I think that's good. Um, planning wise for us so we know how to play on that surface again. And just the overall part of this schedule. You're at home, then you hit the road, you have a little bit of time in between the next road game, etc. How do you keep the team kind of fresh? Do you give them a little extra time off? Do you try and get into a routine? What do you and, and how do you get the team focused on a ne another game when they they're just yeah. barely recovering from yeah. the game they played? No, and I think that's the trick and that's where us um, you know, as the coaching staff, we have to be smart and we have to read the the girls and we have to talk to the leaders on the team and we have to see where they are mentally and physically uh, and and then you go from there so maybe we need a fun day where we'll just go out and we do some team bonding and we relax because we're so you know scrunched up and and other times maybe we need to go out and and, and really get really disciplined and, and kind of have a militant hammer style so you have to read the team you have to read their emotions you have to read how we do with each game and of course, academics on top of all of that. Yeah. You're at the, essentially a third of the way through the season here. You're five and one, as we've mentioned, off to the best start in program mm -hmm. history. Um, I assume that you probably had that written down when you drew up the schedule. What are you guys doing 
well at this point in the season that you're hoping that you can continue to do well or even continue to do better? Um, things we're doing well. I think we're controlling the ball from the backfield extremely well. Our passing patterns are strong. Um, our stick skills are much improved. Um, athletically, we're very fit. So these are the things that we're doing well. Um, we need to continue to build on uh, the finishing aspect, and that's been you know something we've been talking about from day one. And we're getting better, um, but we still need to capitalize on more goals. We're getting a lot of shots, um, but we still need to finish more. You kind of allude to it, and of course, a, a coach goes over a game tape and the fine tooth comb, and mm -hmm. you certainly want it to improve on things. What are the things that the team you've seen so far in the first third here that you'd like to get the team to improve upon a little bit, so you can guys can keep racking up up wins, especially with a tough week ahead. Yeah, I mean, I think as we get into um, this week, we're going to have to really work on our system and our marking and smart hockey, um, being able to capitalize on our strengths and really being able to fine tune our press and giving the other team little space. If we give them space, they're skilled enough and they've got enough speed that they can capitalize on it. So we've got to slow them down, we've got to put our press on, and we've got to make sure that the young ladies are focused a hundredfold because if they have one lack of focus against the better teams, that's a goal, and we haven't really come up against that competition yet. And then finally, we haven't even gotten into conference play, which obviously is the meat of the schedule and, of course, will mean the most right. for the for postseason. But how important is this 5-1 start to gain that confidence going into conference play? You know, I think it's huge. In fact, I was, I was laughing because we are traveling back on the bus, and then all of a sudden one of the girls in the back of the bus screams, we're ranked first in the conference. Yeah. And I was like, you know yeah. what? I was like, that's very cool because I don't think that that's ever happened. Oh, well, certainly not in the history of Stevenson being in the MAC. Yeah. Um, so the fact that we've achieved that goal, although um, you know there's a lot of games we haven't even yeah. started conference right. play, uh, but the girls are excited and and they're liking winning and they're realizing um, that the hard work does pay off. Yeah. So. Well, congratulations on the good start. We'll look forward to talking to you after a very challenging <laughs> three games yes. this coming week. She's Laurel Martin, head coach for field hockey. We'll certainly keep track of the team uh, each week here on Go Mustang Sports.